So today is going to be a very, very special Valentine's Day um, report because, you know what, I don't, yeah it is, you're right. Um, as you can see I got my voice back, finally, thank God. Um, so, number one, what is this game? Scorched Earth. The deforming zone is old school Donald World style. But, no, it's it's a 50-50 split. Remember? Oh, I mean the one that is actually like... It's the 50-50 split. Is there any No Man's Land I'm talking about? Yeah, no man, no, there is no No Man's Land. It's literally one half, the other half. I take this half, you take this half. So, Mason does the okay, and I got my guard. Holy shit. Mason has this side, and I have this side. Um, while Mason's fiddling around with stuff, I'm going to go and tell the audience what I have. So, this bad boy right here, actually. I got the sea marines, I guess. Uh, the sea tanks. So, running off number one. What's your mission did you say we had? Scorched Earth. Oh, that's Eternal War. Okay. Yeah. So, this bad boy, Commander Pask, with his floppy turret. Giggity. Um, he's got a wild cannon, side plasma cannons, and a heavy stubber. And he also has track arcs, because why not? Another um, tank commander, actually, um, basically, same thing as Mr. Pask. Over here, I got two bassies with track arcs and heavy bolters, because, well, long range, long range support is pretty damn good. Oh yeah, um, I also have a master of ordnance. He's not out yet because well, those rerolls of one are pretty nice actually. Then to make it easy, got a heavy weapon. I got an infantry squad, flamer, heavy bolter. Because let's be real here, flame. They're gonna be in close combat. Those free automatic hits with those flamers are pretty damn nice. Because why not? Exactly. There we go. Then I got. Infantry squad, rocket launcher with a what special weapon do I have in here? Another flamer, rocket with plasma, infantry, infantry with rocket launcher, and a grenade launcher. This bad boy right here, he's not actually a killer assassin. He's actually Mr. Slime All Bro. I got um, four chimeras, uh, motor laser, heavy bolter, heavy silver, track arcs. I know it's not painted, but you know what? I want to use tanks tonight. Um, then we got a Lumen Rust Demolisher, actually. Side Plasma, Lava Cannon, Heavy Suburb. Yeah, damn, that's everything. Mason, your turn. Okay, I do have some proxies and some unpainted crap as well. But for the most part, it's not too shabby. Okay, let's start this bullshit off. Okay, I did some last minute changes, so there's some miles that are not pretty. Anyway. Archon, standard shit. He's gonna have his agonizer, blast pistol, and the ice phantasm grenade launcher. Warlord is going to be Drazar. Great. And he's going to have the Warlord trait Hatred Eternal. AK he's gonna let's see, I'll have to take a look at it, but I'm pretty sure it's the add one to your tax characteristic when you charge. Because why not? Yeah. Okay. Then I have a small handful. I think it's six. Uh, witches. Hey, there please. is, yep, Bla the sip, the leader, agonizer blast pistol. The only witch weapon is Chardonnay and Paler. I forget the stats on them. I'll have to look them up. But anyway, continuing. Three units of five warriors. Each of them are well, most of them are Wazy Wick. They are all gonna have be outfitted like this guy, agonizer blast pistol. Phantasm grenade launcher because guard hmm. and tanks. Yay! Anyway, going back over here. Doop, going over here. Oh. A minimum size squad just to give a test of some mandrakes that I got off eBay a while back. The black one will be the night fiend, which basically just gets an extra attack and I think leadership. Anyway, moving this way. Doop. These are still in progress. This is the leader with the knife on there. Doop. But basically, I'll have to take a look here. All the others have haywire blasters, except for the lead scourge here, which has the shard carbine. A shard carbine. Yep. View. Uh, focus. 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 
a shard carbine is 18 inch, assault 3, zero AP, damage 1, wounds on a 4 plus, unless it's a vehicle, in which case they're wounds on a 6. The haywire blasters are the ones I'm really happy about. Because, doo -doo 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 -doo, on a 4 plus, well, it's assault 24 inches, assault 1, strength 1, AP minus 1, 1 damage. Against a vehicle, they do. Uh, the wound on a 4 plus and deal one mortal wound in addition to any other damage. Alright? Okay. I'm oh, sorry, no, on a 4 plus it suffers a mortal wound if the target is vehicle in addition to any other, other damage. So if I soft wounded on a 6, but I roll a 4, you get a mortal wound but not a regular damage. Gotcha. And on a 6, you suffer D3 mortal wounds instead of the 1 in addition to any other damage. Huh. Damn. Okay, then the vehicles. Do -do 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 -do. I know these look like Star Weavers, but tonight they are Venoms. They're a little bit larger than Venoms, but, nah, fuck it, close enough for yeah. now. And they just have the dual um, splinter cannon configuration. Then over here, these are used Ravagers I've purchased, one of them more recently than the other. Ignore that, they're all Dark Lances. Okay. And then just a stock uh, Raider. Hmm. Well, so we these guys are minus one to hit. Mandrakes are minus one to hit. Yeah, I'm hitting on fives. Hooray! Well, let's see what this setup is going to be. What I really want. So, this is the setup. My guard is probably kind of thin, but got a lot of guys inside my tanks. Oh, yeah, that's the difficult part. So, I probably won't be able to get them for most of the game. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, but, okay, uh, just for people at home. Okay, over here, oh, no. well, our, a squad of warriors, squad of warriors, squad of warriors. Uh, this has the witches and the archon. Ravager's back here. And Drazar is inside here. Because, well, fuck it, why not? And the uh, scourges are in the air, and the, uh, fuck, what are they called? Mandrakes. Mandrakes are in the shadows. Well, let's see what happens. Well, where do these guys come from? Where do they come from? Where do they come from? Mason, tell us. Well, these three came from over here. Yep. That guy came from back here. Yep. These guys came from the shadows. They came from the sky. They moved up from over here because, well, it turns out dark lances are assault weapons on vehicles. And that guy over there stayed still. And I really don't... If I try to go for object, objective five or six... I'm dead. So, I figure that if I at least push over here, I'll have a better chance at destroying some things. Better chance. Not great, but better. True. But at the same time, all my stuff is really hard to kill. Yes. That's why pretty much everything has some kind of blast pistol, blaster, dark lance, something. Yeah. Well, let's see what they can do at the end of the turn. Well, stupid Mason, he knocked out one of my Basiliscus. I am so sad. <sighs> Damn it, Mason. What else he did? He I was hoping my Blast Pistols and Blasters from the three squads here would do more against that, but... I still got six damage on it pretty good. And I think, what was it, two or three of them were from Splinter Weapons? Yeah. Two of them. Two of them. Anyway. Yep. Uh, yeah. Because mm. oh. I don't think I... Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that's... I can't do anything else. So, let's see what happens in my movement phase. So my guard was really pissed off because, well, they destroyed a tank, and I love tanks. Everybody and knows that. I forgot you could raise at the, at the deployment here. Yeah. Objectives in your enemy's deployment zone. Right, but the good thing is that you did get a victory point for that. So that gives me one for that, one for this... And that's it, so that's a two total. Mm -hmm. Well, my guardsmen deployed there. They got out, they moved over there to hold that objective. Does Marlboro have a, an, in, a decent armor or inhale? Who, Marlboro? Yeah. He's got some cool stuff. Trust me, it will be so... But what's his save? Five, but he gets the bonus for being in cover. That won't matter. No, watch this, I have something, something fun up my sleeve. Watch this, guys. So my shooting phase was semi okay. Um, starting over an here. Then I was said, "Yeah." <laughs> you are an asshole, and I'm an asshole too. Everybody's an <laughs> asshole. Okay, so I'm um, starting over here um, between the Camaro that I did spot against the Raider that I got, 
sizzled. Um, well, those that destroyed the Raider. Yeah. Then we got um, between Pask, actually made the killing shot on the Raider, which was pretty damn good. Because remember, you can shoot twice. Grand advance. I love it. Um, then with Slam Bro, he did his explosive hit. He blew up his IED, basically, knocking out two of the two, two of those SLBs. Spooky. Thank God for mortal wounds. Um, Basilisk didn't really do, really do anything. Um, Master Vernix and his artillery barrage sucked. He only caused four points of damage on... Yeah. But, um, good thing is... You had a really bad to hit roll, though. You had 11 shots. You had no. 11 shots with that guy. And you rolled too many ones and twos for that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, that's really it. So, Mason, it is actually your turn. Shit. Yes, he can. Okay. Yeah, so before I forget, Slime Over actually, um, in the behind the enemy lines, actually did raise the objective, and I got three victory points because of that. So, over here. Okay, so all this shit basically moved, and I want to kill him. No, they don't. Can you imagine why? Anyway, moved, moved up so that I can actually remember them. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's, not like they that, have any armor anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Well, if I have a normal save, then power from the pain, so... Yeah, like it. Hey, anyway, these guys moved up because I actually have defend objective one. So I need to have that at the end of my turn, at this turn, and then at the end of the next turn. Wow. At C. Oh, and uh, that moved out of the way here, so I can be barely within 18 inches of them. And technically, the model's still in cover, so yay. Eh, whatever. Okay. Oh, from that direction anyway. Yeah. Anyway, let's see, 5, Supremacy, Advance, yeah, I'm not going to have that shit. Anyway, I might have two at most. Let's get shooting. Game Fox. Jason, so what are they doing in the shooting phase? Oh, then piss me off. I shot a whole bunch of shit. I killed this. Yeah, I you forget. did. Oh, Dark I, I did some blast. What I did was blasters and blast pistol from these guys into them, along with the guys. The guys inside shot at the dude that was there. The splinter weapons from this one shot at him. Splinter weapons from this shot at him. Killed him. Splinter weapons from this, from these, all shot in here. Blasters, blast pistols were all shot from all this shit into here. Uh, the Phantom's grenade launcher from the Archon, the, not the, the Witch Leader, and the Sybrite inside here into them. So right now he's sitting at leadership zero. Yeah. I shot all of them into him. Oh yes, uh, that shot into them, killing those at two. Yes. And you refused to kill your missile launcher and flamer for some reason. Yeah. I wonder why. And one of the bright lights is actually they cause four damage from. Oh, that's right. That was from the green one because the yeah. tip. Just yeah. The tip is all that's required these days. BS. Yeah, mm. I agree. A Lehman rush should not be able to shoot. It. That's the last cannon from his fucking antenna. <laughs> well, Mason, there's a shooting phase. Assault time! Damn. Get those flamers ready. So, just to save a little bit of time, uh, yeah, so over here. Archon actually, uh, Kyrg, the guardsman, and the flamer actually did take off the wound and did not knock off his two up and normal save. But. Thank God for. Power from pain giving me rerolls to advance or charge. I needed that from both of these. Oh yeah. Well, the good thing is this, um, and then I just, the guards one gets left because well, they're gonna die. Yeah, save time. Fuck it. Um, and, but your Overwatch from the Flamer did take off the uh, Invul save from the Archon. That yeah. Two annoying two up Invul, which has taken entire armies before. It has actually, but one single little Flamer. I ah fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, don't do Is that it? What's a basilisk do in close combat? Uh, they're really to clear the cure over so. Turns not over yet, though. Yes, it is. 
Not to the morale phase, maybe. No, you have to declare all the charges yeah, first. That's right. You have to declare them, then you charge them. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, this guy, he's going to die, so I'm going to keep him in place. So Charge! But, maybe. Uh, Slime on <laughs> World, he did actually go back in the shadows. They stayed. Tanks moved. The Chimera, the rabbit, actually dropped off the guards on that objective because... I feel like he's for three points, actually. Wait, you're sure it's every time he comes on the board he can yes. do that? Yep. Annoying bit? Yes. How many points is he? He's like 65. That doesn't sound right. Oh, it's, I think it's more than that, but I would have to look up. I would have to look up on Battle Scribe. Yeah. So, but, I, but my point was, is actually I'm underneath by 10 points, so. I'm under by 5. <laughs> anyway, um, Garo's going to actually point out that Chimera, and... Yeah, so now... Burn. No, I'm going to hold that because I can just get points after points after points after points. Oh, yeah, because I'm probably not going to do that. Yeah, then, my la then the last third round is burn and get bonus points. So, objectives is to find objective four. One, three, and one. One is over there. Objective... The burnt ones are in, that, are in there. So what objective was that? Three. Oh, can't Three do. and four are burnt. But it's not till the end of your turn. Because so I just threw this card exactly, so I can't. Yeah, you can't. So, okay, anyway, I'm going to draw my cards and go from there. No, he's going to burn that. No, I'm actually going to keep what? it, actually. Oh. Because I want to suck those big free points out of you. Giggity. I said that on camera. That's not the only thing you want to suck out of me. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <laughs> at the end of my shooting phase, Mason, tell the audience what you did. What I did. Um, there's a few dead things over here that are now over here. Uh, this guy I have to take out a picture as well. Yeah. And other than that, uh, that guy is wounded to shit. He's only got one left. Okay, well, maybe we'll just go in more detail uh, here. These girls over here. Oh, I don't know who shot who. Oh, okay, I, I see. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so, um, over here. So that's for guard shooting. The Basilisk, the Heavy Bolter knocked off a couple of witches. Oh, I have to move these guys. Earth Shaker actually knocked out the Ravener, Ravens or whatever yeah, it is. close enough. I just got to move these guys away. Yeah. Um, then over here, between um, Rock Launcher actually knocked out one of the Venoms. Um, while the... Um, oh, yeah, because that thing did six damage by itself. No, that Rock Launcher, they were actually shot and destroyed the Venom over here in one shot. Really nice. Um, then between Wild's Gun, well, the Wild's Gun's over here, trying the witches. I think I, I got nobody, sadly. Um, Rock Launcher over here, did Diddly Squat. There or, are two dead witches. Yeah, not enough, though. Yeah, not enough to force morale. Yeah, say that again. Then over here, um, yeah, it took a lot of firepower to actually knock out those scourges. It actually took all three Lumen Rosses with. Plasma. Oh, that was on the previous turn. Yeah. Oh, no, it was this turn. I just all those plasma cannons, loud cannons, into you. Or, or are they? These the guys. The are over here. You're thinking the mandrakes. Yeah, the mandrakes. That's why I killed this turn. So, you think I should bring more mandrakes or more scourges? I've seen mandrakes so far, because scourges didn't do anything over this game, other than take some they damage. Like one or two mortal wounds. No. Two mortal wounds and force two more rolls. But then again, they were kind of targeted first, and I had put them in a shitty spot. Did they put, then I got a flamer right there, like kind of... Yeah, the flamer did a little bit of damage. He's a teeny bit, just, just a tad, just the tip. <laughs> um, I think that's really it. Um, I'm not burning any, burning any of the objectives, but I did got behind enemy lines, and I did get two victory points because of that, because I have, well, more than three units in his deployment zone. Why the fuck not? Now... Yeah. Um, then I am controlling one, two, because this nice gentleman right here, <laughs> um, put it out that I got the robot right there. So that is a total of four victory points this total this game. I mean, not this game, my god, it looks suck. This turn. Okay. Mason, move. I draw. Mason, while he's looking up something, he, I is, he moved to him. Look at all these stupid bitches. 
Just because of all the bookkeeping that you have to do. So that's really it for the start. Well, it's is movement fee. So now it right. is. Yes. All right. So I already have immune to suffering. So the six, uh, six of feeling no pain. Reroll charges and add one to hit rolls uh, in the fight things. Shit. This Chimera just squished a witch in close combat. I want that. Witches did nothing, even with the plus one to hit. Yeah, so morale for them, actually. Uh, morale, they're normally an eight, minus one. Damn. Anyway, my turn. Seven or eight, my turn. My bro popped out right there. He's going to blow up some stuff. Um, so blowing up? Oh, give me one quick second, dude. Um, <laughs> Chimera <laughs> fell forward because, wow, those girls are mean. Um, tanks moved up, grinded it up. Chimera saying hello to Mr. Venom. And now so I'm going to go kill some stuff. Over here, Pretty the Chimera. Entire army is knocked out the Venom, thank God. Then the Lemon Roses. Um, For what you see on the table, about shot actually, um, these two. Wow. Shot at the Warrior Squad right here and suddenly took all that firepower to actually knock him out. Task knocked out a couple more. Uh, actually caused uh, four damage on the Ravener over there and Mr. Slime Brown knocked out, sniped one witch. So, assault he, phase. I'm going to try to kill him if you do not kill them. Hmm. Charge, bitch. Charge. No, fuck that. Is it rolling? Yeah. Okay. Because I did have objective one for two turns? Yep. I got defend objective one. Yay! But anyway, he's shuffled back. This is probably going to be the last turn, so I'm just going to go say fuck it. I'm going to try to kill him this turn. No Maybe luck. him just for giggles. But I'm going to try to kill him. So, over there. Witches moved up there. The Venom moved up there. Warlord moved up. The squad moved up. I want to do severe damage or preferably kill him just because it's Pask. And this is going to be the last turn with the time that we have. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what This exact turn. Anyway. Let's see what happens. Okay. Quickly. Go. Okay. All this shit. Shot in there. Blaster. Or blaster, blast pistol. All the uh, squad in here. Shot in there. They shot. The venom shot. Blaster from here. Shot. Blast pistol. Blast pistol. Shot. As well as the uh, Phantom's grenade launchers just because shits and giggles. Why not? Yeah. Uh, Drizar does not have any shooting weapons. Okay. Now it's time for the assault phase. And attacked there, knocked off a wound. I did nothing over here. Nothing really happened except in a close combat. So my last turn. I did forget he actually knocked out a bunch of gargs, man. Morale. But yep. But the thing is, I'm using my last two command points to actually go and auto pass. Yes. So end of the game, and it was the end of my turn. So basically, what happened was I moved a lot of stuff. Uh, my guys actually. Move as fast as they can. Think off the track, Args. So I'm holding that objective because I got two miles within three inches. Oh, yeah. So I got this objective, two more objectives. Uh, what's number three at? Um, number three was burned, remember? Oh, yes. Shit. Uh, then I did get, I did kill two Unix and I was shooting. So it's now point. Um, because I had, well, Oh, yeah, and they had ran away from Drozar. I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. But I was still holding that objective, so I choose to score it. So, one more point. So, my total points. These were four. So, that's 18 victory points for me. Yay! Plus, Not nearly that line break was like 19. Hey, somebody, how many victory points do you have? Not nearly that many. I got first blood. Okay. Uh, none of us have Slave of Warlord. Uh, you got Line Breaker. I had Line Breaker as well, obviously. Yep. Uh, see, I had one, two, three, four, five. I had six at the end because I had to add those other two there. Damn. Well, that's it. Six to 18. Well, I mean, I think the Dark Elder can still be pretty good. I mean... I uh, should have been more aggressive with him. Yeah. Plus, if I knew that he was actually that one transfer over there... Um, I would have shot him. <laughs> but this is a lot better than what they usually do. Oh, shit, that's your model. Uh, uh yeah. Was, I was wondering why there was a <laughs> Um. Oh, run away. Okay. We're getting kicked out. Yeah. Um, 
I got nothing else for to say. We have we have to get out of here. So please like, comment, subscribe, and guys have a good night. There we go.